10 of 15 days of foundation. I have to check every time now to see what day it actually is. If you're new here, this is where we are trying out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. I've done nine reviews so far. Today is day 10. I'm going to link the 15 days of foundation playlist down below. That's where you can go through and watch all of them. And I would recommend starting from day one because I explain a lot about the series in day one. I am going to be rating these 1 to 15 at the end of the series so you can see my overall thoughts, what I thought of each foundation, and how I rank them all. Today we're doing a drugstore foundation. This is the Ulta Color Correcting Foundation and Primer Stick. I haven't seen any reviews on this before. I randomly picked this up at Ulta probably like six months ago. So I have the shade Fair Porcelain, which is the lightest shade. There are only eight shades in this foundation, which obviously is not the best. Shade swatch times. So here's the Ulta Stick Foundation. One over is the Golden Rose Stick Foundation. This is Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, and all these are in the lightest shade, by the way. This is Lancome Tint Idol Ultra. This is Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless 110, and this is MAC NW10. This retails for $12.50. Right now, Ulta products are buy one, get one free online. Not sure about in-store, but right now it's buy one, get one free online. Whenever I order on Ulta or anywhere, really, I always use Ebates. This isn't sponsored by Ebates. I just love them, and they always have the $3.50 coupon on Ebates. So you can probably get buy one, get one free, and then get an additional $3.50 off. But anyways, just try to save you some money. Okay, let's read some of the claims on here. It says it's a weightless gel-based foundation stick with built-in color correcting core. So it does have this like green center, which I'll show you up close when we do the demo. It says delicately textured formula blends easily for natural buildable coverage that helps to even out skin tone. The green center is supposed to neutralize the redness. Outer portion is supposed to smooth and perfect skin. So that's all it pretty much says. It got really good reviews on Ulta. Looks like it has four and a half stars and there's almost 500 reviews. So that's promising. This is the third foundation stick I've tried in this series. We also did the Cover Click foundation on day two, I think. And the Golden Rose stick foundation was two days ago on day eight. So let's just get into it. If you guys like this series and are excited about 15 days of foundation, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, do your thing. If you want to see how this foundation applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. Okay, let us clip back the hairs. Today is one of those days where I feel like I just need coffee and an IV drip right now. Alright, so my skin is not too bad right now. Uh, no major active breakouts except this one right here. This is all mostly scarring, so I do have cystic acne with combination skin, so I usually get oily a little bit on my T-zone. I have the Real Techniques makeup sponge right here and a brush. This is the e.l.f. brush. never remember the name because they don't print it on here, but I'll link both of them down below. This is one of my favorite brushes to apply stick and cream products. So we're gonna try it with this foundation. And I haven't used this at all yet. I think I've swatched it one time a long time ago when I first got it. I've had this for forever. If you guys followed me on Instagram, I think I mentioned like probably over six months ago, I asked you guys if you wanna see a review on this. We are not doing it. So as you can see, it has this green center, which is supposed to be for color correcting some of the redness. And then the foundation product is surrounding it. I have one of my light over there today. I don't know, I feel like it makes it look a little bit more warm. It says to use a sponge or your fingertips to blend this out. I usually like to use my fingers to blend out product on my face, so I'm just going to use the brush and the sponge. So let's go on, oh, gliding on really easily. I can definitely see like some of the green coming through. So let's use a brush on this side of my face. There's the tapping again. blending out super easily and it's sitting really nice on the skin. It almost looks like I'm not wearing anything. I feel like I can see the green tint. Is that just me being mental? Covered pretty well in the cheek area actually and it looks super smooth. Let's do some on the forehead. I've only moisturized my face since this does say it's supposed to prime too. I didn't put a primer on my face. Alright, so that blends out really nicely with the brush. Got about a medium coverage, but for some reason it looks more flawless than medium coverage usually does. You can still see some of my imperfections peeking through, but I still feel like it looks really nice and smooth, and it covered really well actually. So now I'm going to go in on this side and use the sponge. Do you see how quick that just blended out? 
Okay, so that took all of about five seconds to blend out on my cheek. All right, so just with one layer, so far I like it sitting really well on my skin. It kind of just like melted into my skin. Looks like a dewy finish, but it is already starting to set. I could probably blend bronzer over this right now. Really like how it just effortlessly blended out. I don't even really feel like I need more coverage right now. I might just try and dab a tiny bit on areas that I need a little bit more concealing and see if we can build it up. And as far as sponge versus brush, I think they both applied totally fine and got the same kind of coverage. So it builds fine. I don't feel like I got a ton more coverage out of that, but it definitely doesn't look cakey or anything when you try and build it. So let's show you guys a close-up. I just feel like it looks really nice and smooth. It's covering everything, but it still doesn't look like a mask on my face. I really like how it's sitting on my forehead. It's not clinging on to anything. I'm not sure if I'm going to set my face today. I really like the finish of it right now. I might put a tiny bit of powder just in my T-zone. So I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's now 8.20 in the morning. The rest of my makeup is on. And powder products did blend a little bit funky on top of this. Even like a setting powder, which I ended up having to use. So I tried to go in with just bronzer on my whole face, cheekbones, and forehead, and it was looking really funky on my forehead. So then I went in with a tiny bit of setting powder, used the A Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Elimination. Now it looks totally fine and all blended, but I do feel like it looks a little bit weird where my blush blended out. Depending on how this lasts throughout the day, I can see this being a good foundation for like the beach or the pool if you're someone who likes to wear makeup to those places, which I do because I like to cover my acne but still look like I have skin on my face. I do really like the way it's sitting on my skin, looks super natural and just like skin, kind of looks like I have a tin and moisturizer on or something. It doesn't look bad, like where the powder blended out at all, it just wasn't as easy as it sometimes is to blend powder out on top. And on my lips is Too Faced Melted Matte in Cool Girl mixed with Anastasia Beverly Hills milkshake. So like I said, it's 8.20, we're getting an early start today. I have a shit ton of work to catch up on. And I am going back in today to have the salon fix the extensions. A senior colorist is going to fix them because the other girl told her manager that she wasn't confident in fixing the color. Which like, why would you even sign up to do it in the first place? But anyways, so that'll be at three o'clock today and then I'm just gonna work. So I will check back throughout the day. Okay, so it's now 5.42, whoops, it's now 5.42 p.m. and foundation's been on for over nine hours now. I just had a very interesting day. Went back to the salon to have them fix the extensions. I'm not going to get into it on here because I posted the entire rant slash story on Snapchat. It's the tail of snaps. I'm probably going to include more information about what happened with the extensions and stuff in my second hair transformation video, black to silver. So as far as the foundation, I was basically tracking in like 85 degree heat and I was like slightly sweating. And considering, I feel like it held up fairly well. I'm definitely very oily looking right now. I feel like I haven't looked this oily at the end of the day from any of the other foundations so far. So I think that this one needs a really good mattifying powder on top of it, which is a little bit unfortunate because it does look so nice when you first apply it without a powder, but at least in the T-zone area, this one definitely needs a mattifying powder on my skin. If you have dry skin, this might be great for you. If you're oilier than I am, probably not the foundation for you. It's breaking down a little bit around my nose. I would just say the main issues are I look really oily. I don't know what the heck is going on with my concealer today. I used the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. This didn't happen the first time we did the first impression on it, but I'm like super creasy and my mascara transferred and I didn't use any different mascara than I usually do on the bottom lashes. Ignore the under eyes because they're not looking cute right now. I do feel like it oxidized a tiny bit. Under this lighting it does look like it oxidized a little bit. It doesn't look way too dark or anything but it's just not as light as it was this morning. So I'm going to show you guys a clip right now in natural lighting so you can see kind of the difference under the ring lights versus just in natural lighting. Okay so here's what my face looks like in natural lighting right now. God it looks so much less shiny in natural lighting. So I don't have a mirror right now so I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder but I feel like my forehead does look like it oxidized a little bit but it's nothing horrible. It's not like orange or anything. It's totally still wearable. Yeah, here's what it looks like. I 
still really like the way that this went on. I feel like it blended out really effortlessly. I got a lot better coverage than I was expecting. And when you want a really quick, cheap application, part of my issue with the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation is I usually use that foundation when I'm just like running out the door and I need to cover my acne really quick or I need to just like blend out something on my face. And it seems like a waste of money to me because if I'm only gonna have it on for a few hours, that product isn't cheap. And I feel like this could be a good cheap alternative where if you're literally just like running to the grocery store or going to the beach or whatever it is and you don't wanna like waste a good foundation, this one is really quick and easy to throw on and I think it looks great when you first apply it and for the first like five hours. I was out all day working at a coffee shop and then went to the salon and I did look at my face at about the five hour point and it still looked a lot better at the five hour point. So this could have just come from like sweating and being really hot outside. I don't think I would wear this as a like morning to night, all day long wear foundation. This would probably just be for me something that I throw on when I wanna just go run errands super quick and like don't wanna think about what foundation I'm putting on my face and just goes on super quick and effortlessly. So overall, I do think it's worth giving this one a go. If you have dry skin or if you have a good mattifying setting powder that you can use on top of this if you're slightly oilier like I am. If we're being a drugstore product, I think it's worth a go. If you don't like it, keep your Ulta receipt. You can always return it. But I'm gonna be keeping this one and definitely wearing it again. And I think if you plop some Rimmel Stay Matte pressed powder on top, this would probably be looking good for a lot longer. Oh, and I did change my lip color. Right now I have on the Kylie Candy K. I'm probably gonna be doing a full review on these. Let me know if you guys would wanna see that down below. I've just been like slowly ordering shades as they come back in stock. Let me know if you want a full review. So if you guys like this video and you're excited about 15 Days of Foundation, make sure you give this a thumbs up. You can always leave your comments down below for what foundations you wanna see next. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye.